Hello everyone, welcome back and to this Monbuka Gaku Show 2016 of Mathematics B Finjo Solution. And especially at the first part, we have discussed that the answer of this logarithm is 12, and now in this video, we're going to discuss of number 2. Okay, so if alpha beta are numbers satisfying 0 uh, less than alpha less than pi over 4 and 0 over beta over pi over 4 and alpha plus beta is pi over 4 it follows that in bracket tangent alpha plus 1 bracket tangent beta plus 1 equals what? So in this question we have kind of a trigonometry application with the angles and we have range of the degree of alpha and beta. So alpha and beta cannot be uh, greater than pi over 4 or less than 0. So to actually understand this, we, we need to actually understand how tangent works, right? So there's an, you know, some kind of uh, special angle for each trigonometry. For example, tangent 0 is 0 and tangent 30 or pi over 6 is tangent is uh, root 3 over 3 and so on so we're gonna pick a random angle to fit into this equation right the one that fits that is actually pi over 8 plus pi over 8 is pi over 4 and if you know the application of radian we know that pi over 4 is 45 degrees and pi over 8 is 22.5 degrees. So 22.5 plus 22.5 is 45. And if you don't know how the radians work, well, it's simple. Just if you want to change this pi per 4 radiant, you can actually just multiply it by uh, 180 over pi. So this 180 over pi. Right, it is equal to 45 degrees. And if you wonder that tangent 45 is 1, it's true, but what if tangent 22.5? Right, because alpha stands for pi over a, which is 22.5 degrees, and also beta. So, this is how do you change it? So, we know that we also have to know that tangent, uh, tangent alpha plus 1 and tangent beta plus 1 right we could not actually just put this value on this bracket but we have to understand what the relation of the degree between 22.5 and 45 if we suppose assume that 45 is theta then 22.5 is half theta Right, so half of half of forty five is twenty two point five. Then, if you remember, the trigonometric identity of tangent half theta is actually sine theta over one plus cos theta. And we know that sine theta is sine forty five, which let me change it sine forty five over one plus cosine forty five, and we know that this equals to half root two. And cosine 45 also equals half root 2. And we can actually calculate this. So you just so you just become root 2 over 2. And we can make an equality of the denominator here. So 2 plus root 2 over 2. We can cross that. So this is root 2 over 2 plus root 2. And remember, if you have fraction, if you have root in the fraction, especially in the denominator. You want to make it as ration, rationalized as possible. The, the purpose of it is to actually ease the calculation. Let me show you. So when we rational it, we calculate with the opposite of the denominator. So if it is 2 plus root 2, it becomes 2 minus root 2. Right, and this is equal to uh, root 2 times 2 is 2 root 2, and root 2 times root 2 is 2 over 4 minus 2 so we get 2 root 2 minus 2 over 2 which is root 2 minus 1 so you can see that tangent half theta is root 2 minus 1 
and we know that half theta is 22.5 degrees is root 2 minus 1 therefore we can actually uh, place the value of root 2 minus 1 to this bracket so tangent alpha is tangent 22.5 which is root 2 minus 1 so I uh, rewrite tangent alpha plus 1 tangent beta plus 1 just tan tangent theta is root 2 minus 1 plus 1 and tangent beta is root 2 minus 1 plus 1 and this is 0 0 so this is 2 so the answer of number 2 if alpha beta are numbers satisfying the range of alpha and beta and alpha plus beta is pi over 4 it follows that tangent alpha plus 1 multiply with tangent beta plus 1 is equal to 2 so you might want to understand a bit of the identity of trigonometry and also the angle relation of this particular example thank you and in the next video we're gonna discuss number three